Okay, Cancer, so this is going to be for the Life Path 7 Cancers because that's what I saw the most first. So if you're a Life Path 7, this is for you. Cancers who are Life Path 7s. Okay, so you guys have the Four of Cups and you have the Devil card, okay? So there could be an energy of sulking, okay? Notice how you got the Four of Cups and the Devil after it. So there's some sulking. Could be about a missed opportunity, a lost opportunity, or the things that you're contemplating on is kind of putting you in a dark place. So you're not really... Um, maybe you're not seeing the new opportunities around you. But let's just see. Hopefully this is something you're coming out of. Let's see what comes out. What is Frog, Four of Cups? Ooh. Frog, Four of Cups. So we have the Ten of Cups. Okay. So it looks like you guys are feeling happy. Okay. Feeling better coming out of that four of cups energy i feel like with the devil card this could be you guys being attached to something maybe you guys are just really in your feelings deeply in your feelings maybe you're on uh, moody having mood swings because that's what i'm kind of getting from this okay so i feel like you're attaching to something that you are emotionally connected to or um emotionally invested in but yes definitely very moody energy so it's like one minute you're up one minute you're down so this could be about your finances or about an earth sign, king of pentacles. We have the moon. Okay, so whether this is your energy or theirs, it's surrounding either some type of wealth or a person that has, you know, maybe an earth moon. Okay, but there's definitely some moodiness here. Or something unseen. Okay, so we have armadillo, which is about... Marking territory, impenetrable defense, caution. So this is definitely looking like a foundation, okay? I feel like if you are in a relationship, I feel like things are becoming more stable between you and this person. Maybe there was a lot of mood swings between you and another person um, in the household. All right. But I feel like for the most part, Something is coming out or being released. There's some type of release going on. And it looks like it's putting you in a more stable place with the four of wands with the marking territory card. So we have the page of wands showing up. So this is a chance to start fresh and new with the page of wands. And we have the knight of cups. So that's what someone could be deciding to do. This could be you deciding to start something new or start something fresh or to refresh in something. Or oh, this could be like multiple suitors you have. Like maybe you have multiple people that's trying to offer you something. Or um, there's multiple things that you can dabble into. But let's see. We have Cardinal, which is, you know, Cancer. You are a Cardinal sign. And we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like there's definitely something going on here. Some type of communication. You could have suitors. Or maybe this is a simple conversation between you and another person. This can also be a lot of ideas. You have ideas that's connected to you emotionally. Ideas that's connected to you logically. And that's also connected to, you know, your fun side. So I feel like maybe there's things around you where you can possibly be deciding something or you have a lot of things that got your attention or or that you can give your attention to but i feel like for the most part it's about it's a time to be creative or being a creative thinker when 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 it's needed or when you're called to and maybe this is you guys actually singing a little song because you see the cardinals card says sacred songs with a knight of swords so maybe you guys are singing a song and it's like it could be a, a little bit of playful energy it could be a little bit of emotions and just you know just general singing but if not you know it's a time to be creative it's a time to be really logical about a situation so now we have the six of wands okay the fi fire fly six of wands which is about taking control being in control shining your light and also feeling that way with the Ace of Cups. So a lot of you guys, you may find yourself feeling, you know, this energy of glory, glory. Okay. Six of Wands, feeling good, feeling confident, you know, feeling accomplished. 
Some of you guys, you're feeling accomplished due to putting your energy into things that can grow or things that, um, it's like they complement your emotions, okay? But we have the sun, okay? So definitely happiness, okay? Getting attention as well. Definitely could be getting attention, but I feel like for the most part, you feel blissful, you feel nice, you feel happy, you feel youthful. If you have kids, this could be you having a good time with your kids. But if it's just, you know, you, you're feeling really good, you're feeling youth, youthful right now. There is something you could be accomplishing, even if it's just emotional. There's something you're accomplishing that really puts you in a good place. I feel like you have a new way of just, you know, putting your energy or focus into something. So a lot of you guys could be tapping into your creativity and that's what you're giving a lot of your energy to. I feel like you're just letting your creativity take over and it's allowing all of the elements of emotions, uh, thoughts and everything kind of come together and create whatever it is you're creating. Um, so we have the Empress definitely Definitely a energy of creativity. So this just makes that much more um, easier. I feel like things are just going to be... As, as long as you stay in your creativity, things could seem more easier. Okay? I feel like you guys could be feeling really abundant. Notice how we got a lot of cups. So I feel like feeling is a big deal right now. You feeling good, things feeling easy or feeling smooth. Things just, just smoothing out or or they're just smooth right now. So we do have the strength card. Which is about, you know, the obvious, holding on to something. It could be overcoming something. As the card says, it says mind over matter. So it could be about having a very powerful mindset or a strong mindset. But we have the king of cups. So maybe there's someone here. Because we did have the queen of cups. So it's like there's a masculine energy here. And they could be the ones that have this mind over matter energy. This very strong masculine masculine energy. An uh, energy of compassion as well. Okay. But I feel like. I feel like this is someone with the five of pentacles. This is someone you may not. You know. You may not have felt. Like you guys had something strong together. So with the five of pentacles showing up. You may not really be um, doing much with this person. Whatever they're showing up for. So maybe they're going to call you. But I feel like. With the judgment card. It's like dealing with this person kind of puts you in a dark place. But with the judgment, I feel like you've made a decision. So that decision could be not to move forward with this person. That could be, you know, in this reading. So we have the five of wands, which is about conflict, competition. It can also be just a challenge, whether it's a good challenge or a bad challenge. But we have the three of wands. So you could have had a lot of challenges with this person. But for the most part... You know, dealing with them is a challenge. Maybe there's other people involved as well. But it's also about realizing something. Realizing how conflicting something is. Alright. So we have Moose. Which is about engagement, you know, or, or I guess doing something. And it's funny because it says boldness and that's what the Page of Wands is about. So I feel like there's going to be some type of bold action taken. This can also just be you starting something new. This may also be pointing towards a partner of some sort. Someone you can get close to or be close to. Wow, look at this, y'all. We got the Temperance and we got the Temperance. So heavy Sagittarius energy. This can also just be you guys really in harmony and just being excited, being bold, and just really unbothered, okay, if it's not about a person. But if it was about a person, they would be really attractive, really sexy, really, um, they would be unbothered as well. But miraculous energy is showing up. You got the temperance card together, so I mean... Very peaceful energy. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like you guys are really phased by much. But we do have the Seven of Swords, though. Okay, we got the Seven of Swords with the Five of Cups. So there could be some kind of looking back at something. Okay, looking back at spilled milk. This can also be just avoiding whatever that temperance energy is. If it is someone trying to come into harmony with you, then maybe you're avoiding them because you know that the devil is in the details with the Seven of Swords. Okay, so you could be avoiding someone that's coming off with that Sagittarian energy. We have the Nine of Swords. 
We have the devil card, yeah. So definitely mental anguish, like times 10. I feel like maybe someone here kind of brings out your shadow self. So maybe someone here is a mirror of you. But there's definitely manipulation because you got the devil not too far from the seven of swords. So definitely a manipulative situation. Could be a manipulative person as well. But it's, it's just really time to take the meds off right now. And it's time to heal whatever this is. And maybe that's what this person want to do. But I feel like you guys may have may be ahead of this person already. You guys may already be healing and protecting your feelings, protecting your heart. I feel like a lot of you guys are have taken back your compassion from a situation or a person that didn't deserve it. So we have the Six of Cups and we have the Page of Swords. This could be you watching a movie, watching someone on social media, or someone is watching you, thinking about you, probably reminiscing about you if it's not you doing it. But I definitely get like uh, some type of reminiscing, okay, oh, surrounding you. So we have the Fool, but the Fool, I love when the cards come out together. So definitely exiting a situation i feel like you guys are just trusting the process and really letting your inner child want wander okay because you got the food twice so i feel like you're you're ready for new i feel like you are really open and optimistic when it comes to new things and new chapters coming into your life so we have the knight of wands showing up next with the three of cups wow so this is definitely about some type of um gathering could be a gathering or like a platonic connection as well. But it could just be a good time too. I feel like satisfaction is the main key though. You guys are going to be really satisfied as you move through the month. Okay. So this could just be within yourself. It, it doesn't always have to involve people. This could just be satisfied within yourself. Because you're trusting where you're going. And you're allowing yourself to just enjoy things as it happens. So we do have the death card and we have the kangaroo, which is about, you know, maternal direction. We'll see though. So we have the death with the strength card holding on, overcoming an ending, renewing yourself. I feel like something renews you and makes you stronger as well. So whatever ended, it renewed you in a stronger way. It made you strong. And with the maternal card, we have the high priestess. So I feel like for the most part, you know where you're going because you, you see it says a direction. So you know where you're going. You know where you're headed. I feel like you're allowing yourself to be patient with the process. All right. So we have the hierophant, which is about, wow, the hierophant again. Wow, guys. So we just keep getting the same cards on top of each other. So this is definitely you putting your self-respect to the forefront. Okay, your morals to the forefront. And if it is about actual businesses, you know, your business looks like a strong standing. Okay. But I feel like a lot of you guys, you're like, I don't want to blend in. I don't want... This could also be like, you know, society too, since that came out. Because camouflage is blending in. So with that Seven of Swords exiting, you know, you you're, you don't, you don't want to blend in. You want to be different if that's who you are. You want to be different. You're daring to be different if that's just who you are. So I feel like that's what's going on. You're different and you're okay with it, okay? So if you are different, allow yourself to be different and go on your own journey or go your own way. So we have the Ace of Wands with the Six of Wands, okay? So definitely a major... Um, like this energy is very bold, okay? I feel like whatever inspiration you have, you take action on it with great triumph and control. I feel like you take action. You're very strong and powerful, and I feel like you are very sure where you want to go and where you want to head to. So we have the high priestess, eight of wands, definitely doing what your intuition is telling you to. I feel like you're getting downloads and you're just taking action as it comes. Any any urge or any subtle or the slightest insight you get, you take action on it. You do exactly what you feel like you need to do or what you feel called to do. So with the Five of Swords and the Empress card, I feel like this is about staying balanced in the whole process. I also feel like someone wants to win you over or, or vice versa. Someone here wants to win another person because we have the Eight of Wands with the emperor so you got the empress and the emperor okay this could be saying that your uh, masculine and feminine is balanced or that or someone sees you as their perfect partner and they want to win you over at all costs so 
So let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, someone wants to win you over at all costs. They may want to pamper you. They may want to give you things that they never gave you. Um, or they just want to pamper you. Okay, we have the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So definitely some beautiful insights could be coming in. Someone may have an idea on how they can like make you feel good as well. So just keep an eye out on that. Someone may feel like they have the, 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 the most perfect idea that can make you give in to them. So hopefully you are on they hopefully they are on your good side because I mean that's the only time that can possibly be something that makes you smile. But we have the nine of cups and the king of wands. Yeah, someone is definitely focused on having some satisfaction, and it may just be careful that it's not you know because with these pages it could be something slight. They just may want to have a little good time, and then who knows what they want to do then. So we have the king of wands again. Yeah, someone is definitely possibly acting out of their passionate side. So just be careful that someone is not trying to reach out to you only for a good time. And that's it, you know, and instead of a long time, you know, because that's what it's kind of looking like. It's looking really uh, focused on the physical right now, the, the passion. OK, I feel like the desire is very strong with whoever this is. So we have the emperor and the ace of pentacles. This is the perfect time to stay balanced. Okay, whatever you are leading or in charge of, this is the perfect time to, you know, organize and keep everything how it needs to be. A lot of you guys, business could be booming, work could be booming, money is coming in. I feel like you guys are feeling strong, stabilizing your energy, stabilizing your health, taking taking control of the things that you can control. Okay. So we have the Knight of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, focusing on business, focusing on, you know... What you've learned. Okay. Understanding what, what to do. Understanding how to handle a situation. Alright. But I'm definitely getting some type of achievement. Because you have the seven of wands with the world. So those are two cards of achievement. So definitely achieving things at work. And whatever collaborations you are in. We have sugar cleverness. Eventually, with faith, six of cups. Yeah, someone definitely may want your trust. Okay, someone here wants some type of trust. And I guess it will be up to you if you want to trust someone. I guess it depends on the situation. Okay, but someone here definitely wants some type of trust. Someone may want to even give you something. Okay, and what they want to give you could be money. Because as I continue to pull, we got the Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Someone may want to give you money or they may want to or they may want to bribe you, you know, to have a good time. If it gets to that point where they're desiring it that much. All right. But that's um, I hope it was clear. I hope it was. That's the reading and I will see you guys in the next video.